Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Shreya and today we are in a very beautiful town which is Mittenwald and this town is situated right in the middle of Bavarian Alps and the Austrian border. So guys, this town is very famous for its colorful painted houses and it is also known as the village of thousand violins. So first thing we are going to do is explore the old town of Mittenwald and from there we are going to head towards the Lautus George. I don't know if I am pronouncing this right but don't worry, I will link the name below so that you can check that out. If you are new to this channel, me and Jayesh, we love to travel and explore different places in Europe. So if you are interested in travel related videos, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon. And now without a further ado, let's go and explore the town. As soon as we get down from Mittenwald train station, you will see behind there are so many beautiful Alps, right? on the opposite side of the train station and on the other side of the train station there is this beautiful old town of Mittenwald. So the view here is absolutely stunning and I guess you are really going to enjoy this Mittenwald town. So today we started our journey from Munich Central Station and it usually takes one and a half hours to reach here by train and there is a direct train connection to come here. But today there was some problem in the connectivity and we had to travel half journey by train and from there we came here by bus. So while coming here the view is really beautiful, the Alps and the greenery looks absolutely stunning. So now we are going towards the old town and behind me here you can see the Rathaus which is the city hall of Mittenwald and and let's go to the old town right now. So guys, if you are in a bus or a train, make sure you get the window seat because the view from this window seat is really amazing. There are so many beautiful colourful painted houses in this old town and we are absolutely loving the walk. So right in the middle of the old town there is this beautiful church which also has a painting on it and this church was built back in the 14th century and the name of this church is St. Peter's and Paul Church and we are not going inside this church because someone is getting married at the moment. So guys if you are here then maybe you can check this church out from inside. So just next to the church there is this small lane and we saw this Geigenbau museum which is very famous for its violins. If you are a music lover and if you want to know more about violins you can also visit this museum and the entry to this museum is not free. I will link their website in the description box below. Even this museum house is painted from outside and it looks really beautiful and if you see around there are so many beautiful houses which are uh, which are painted as well. So the entire town is very famous for its colorful painted houses and I know why it is because there are so many beautiful houses and it looks really stunning with the mountain view. After enjoying the beautiful old town of Mittenwald, we are now heading towards the Leutisch Gorge and this particular place is I think 15 minutes walk from the old town of Mittenwald and you can just follow the signs of Leutisch Gorge, they are there on the way. Look at this view, this is really beautiful, there is this nice river flowing nearby and we are going to do some hiking over there and I think the view from there also is going to be really nice. So while walking we are just going to enjoy the view and you can also do the same. While walking towards the Leutisch Gorge, the view is really amazing and the walk is really beautiful. So we are totally enjoying the walk and this place is actually very secluded. So if you are looking where you don't want to have so many tourists around, then I think this can be a really nice option for you. This place is also very close from Munich 
and also very close to the Garmish Park in Kirsha. And I think I love this place because we are here for the second time and last time when we were here, it was last year and we did not shoot any video back then. So it's a wonderful day and we actually planned to go to the Partna Klam, which is near Garmesh. And we saw that the place was really crowded because there was this G7 summit and that's the reason everything was closed. And we are here, but I think we made a really good choice. So we are going to enjoy and I hope that you are also enjoying this. Now I'm standing on a bridge which is right in front of this beautiful gorge and you can see river is flowing between the two mountains. So this gorge offers a trekking route of 2 kilometers in total and there are two routes to take this trek. The shorter route is around 800 meters and the other one which is the longer route is around 1200 meters. So last time when we were here, we took the longer route and from there we got very beautiful view of the Alps and we got place to sit and enjoy our lunch there. And when we go up, there is a metallic bridge which connects both of these mountains and the experience is really thrilling when we go up there. We will be going there by the shortest route because now we want to save some time and last time we have already taken a trek from the longer route. So keep watching this video and we will show you the view from the top. So this trekking route is very steep and I think there is no chance that you can bring the strollers here and because this is very steep, make sure you have good shoes on so that you don't skid. So we found a nice bench and we are really hungry and we also have food with us so we are going to enjoy our food with the nice view. You can see behind me this bridge which connects the two mountains and the mountain on the other side of the bridge is the Austrian mountain actually so you can go there and there is Austrian and German border not sure if we are going to go there today but this bridge is open to public since 2006 and 1.4 million euros were spent to construct this bridge and apparently this bridge is free of cost so <laughs> make sure to visit this bridge because you don't have to pay anything and the trek from the bottom of this gorge until here took only 20 to 25 minutes and we also had lunch in between and you can also enjoy the view from here and one more thing the bridge in the between is also a suspension bridge so if you go there don't try to jump on it because it's going to move and there is also a river beneath that bridge so the view is amazing and the experience is also very thrilling If you are not afraid of the heights then this is something adventurous you can do and I am standing on this bridge and I can literally see the water flowing so it's a little bit scary but also adventurous at the same time. So guys the mountain on that side will lead you to the Austrian border and we are not going to go there because last time we were there and uh, we saw the Austrian border but nothing special in that. So we are going to stay on Germany's side and we are going to, <laughs> Jayesh is holding my bag also and his bag also. So we are going to explore this gorge itself from this side.
additional information if you have more time you can also go to that mountain by a cable car and the ticket to go there is i think 34 euros per person to and fro and that mountain is i think the second tallest mountain in germany and the first one is zugspitze so if you are planning to go to that mountain by cable car then you have to take the cable car from the other side of the train station and on this side of the train station is the mittelwald town and also this gorge we are done with the trekking of loitesh gorge and the trek was amazing and the experience was also thrilling so we are totally going to recommend you that if you are planning to visit to mittenwald as you can see behind me there is a mountain and you can also take the cable car to go up to that mountain but we didn't opt for that option today because it's already 4:30 and we are planning to go back to munich now and we didn't have much time today so next time maybe we will opt for that cable car option and make a separate video out of it so guys thank you so much for watching this video and we really hope that you enjoyed watching mittenwald and also this gorge if you did then please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and also hit the notification bell icon you can also follow us on instagram page as well and we really thank you for all the support you have given us so far we will see you in the next video until then take care travel safe and bye bye Please let us know in the comment section below which place you want us to visit next and we will try our best to go there and make a video on that place.